in this tutorial we will create this drawing this drawing and this drawing let's start with first drawing click on start drawing at first we will have to set the limit for the drawing now here the length is 70 this radius is 20 that is the total is 90 and suppose here we will assume this to be 70 that is 90 plus 70 is 160 we have to take limit more than the desired length we will take it 200 comma 200 give the limits command enter and give lower left corner as 0 comma 0 enter upper right corner as 200 comma 200 enter then give zoom all z enter enter to apply the limits at first we will create these two line of 70 length and the angle between them is 120 click on line give the first point make ortho on take your cursor away give the length of 70 enter then to create inclined line make ortho off give the length 70 to give the angle press tab button now we need angle between these two lines as 120 degree but here AutoCAD is asking for angle from this horizontal line as this angle is 120 degree that means this angle will be 180 minus 120 that is 60 degree enter enter then the gap between these two line is diameter of this arc radius is 20 that is diameter is 40 that means gap between these two lines is 40 to create parallel lines click on offset give the gap of 40 enter select this line click above then select this line click above and press enter pan it press scroll and drag the mouse then to remove these corners click on trim then press enter to select all edges as cutting edges and click on the object to be removed press enter and to create this circle of radius 20 now the center of this circle is at the midpoint of these two lines click on circle shift right click and click on this mid between two points select this first point select this second point and give the radius of 20 enter same way circle to be created here also now this was the one method to create the circle other method is we can say that we need a circle passing through these two points we can also use two point method click on the arrow select this two point option give the first point give the second point then trim the unwanted portion click on trim press enter and remove the unwanted object press enter then here two circles are there of dia 20 click here and select center diameter then click on the center point give the diameter of 20 enter again click on center diameter take your cursor on the circle it will show the center point click on the center point give the diameter of 20 enter this object is ready click on new drawing again we will have to set the limit a limit for this drawing will be complete length is 150 we have to take more than this that is 200 comma 200 give the limits enter 0 comma 0 enter 200 comma 200 enter then zoom all to apply the limits z enter a enter then here is 150 length then 30 30 20 take the line command give the first point make ortho on give the length of 150 enter take your cursor above give the length of 30 enter take cursor inside give the length of 30 enter take cursor above give the length of 20 enter zoom it pan it then here length will be now this length is not given this length will be actually 150 minus this 30 plus 30 that is 150 minus 60 that will be 90 give the length of 90 enter take your cursor below give the length of 20 enter 30 enter and close it click on close now here is center line at the position of midpoints click one line from mid to mid click on line command take your cursor to the midpoint 
click there again click here enter then here the gap will be half of 50 that is 25 from this line to this line and this will be half of 40 that is 20 from this line to this line and this distance is 10 again to create parallel lines click on offset give the gap of 10 enter select this line take your cursor below and click there again select this line take your cursor on the right side give the length of 20 enter again click on this line take it on the right side give the gap of 25 enter Select this line, take on left side, give the gap of 20, enter. Select this line, take your cursor on the left side, give the gap of 25, enter. Then enter to stop the offset command. Then trim the unwanted portion. Now we only need to keep this portion and all the other lines needs to be removed. Click on trim, press enter and remove the unwanted portion. and press enter this object is also ready and next will be this one click on new drawing again limits now here it is created around this equilateral triangle of 80 size now it will be 80 plus 15 that is 95 and plus 20 that is 115 and we have to take more than that we will take 150 150 give the limits command enter with the lower left corner 0 comma 0 enter upper right corner 150 comma 150 enter you zoom all z enter a enter at first we will create this triangle of 80 size as this is a equilateral triangle that means angle between these two lines will be 60 degree give the line command give the first point make ortho on give the direction give the length of 80 enter make ortho up take your cursor above as it is equilateral triangle that means length of all the lines will be same give here again 80 press tab give this angle now as it is a equilateral triangle that means angle between these two line will be here 60 degree but autocad need angle from this side that means angle from this side will be 180 minus this 60 that is 120 degree enter and click on the clothes then to shift this xy icon give the ucs icon command ucs icon enter click on no origin and here is circle of 20 radius 15 radius and 10 radius create th three circles click on the arrow take the option center radius give the center point give the radius of 20 enter then press enter to repeat the circle command give again center point give the radius of 15 enter enter the center point give the radius of 10 enter now here tangent lines are there take the line command press shift and right click and select tangent and click on the circle again shift right click tangent click then enter again enter to repeat the command this is one type other way you can make here tangent on now your tangent is on but because of this center object snap it is not showing the tangent it is showing the center so cancel this center click outside take your cursor now it is showing the tangent click there again click here enter enter click here click here enter and remove the unwanted portion now only these arcs are required internal circles are not required click on trim enter and remove this portion press enter then there are these circles are there 20 diameter 15 diameter and 10 diameter for that click here and select center diameter give the center point give the diameter of 20 enter again click on the center diameter give the center point give the diameter of 15 enter you can click on the center diameter give the center point give the diameter of 10 enter then inside there is this triangle at a gap of 10 we will just offset this line inside click on offset give the gap of 10 enter select this line click inside again select this line click inside select this line click inside press enter 
then trim the unwanted portion click on trim you will select this as the cutting edges if you select the cutting edges then it can be trimmed quickly you don't have to click extra then press enter and click on the object to be removed and press enter this object is also ready thanks for watching we will stop here